welcome to Hummingbird Acres. I am Deanne and this is the second video in our Monarch series. In this video we are going to take all of our caterpillars that have hatched out of their eggs and we are going to put them in our butterfly enclosure. This is where things start getting really interesting. You can really start to see how the caterpillars are growing and you can really see just how amazing these insects are. So we can't wait to show you how we're going to do this. So we have a little guy who is wanting more milkweed and he wants to escape out of our tank. tank. So we are going to move some of these bigger guys into our butterfly house and we're going to show you how we do it. So Hen's here to help and we're going to start by going and getting some milkweed. Can I trade you real quick? Um, I can't have this one. Can you hold this? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go get milkweed out of our first milkweed garden and I'm going to cut them pretty long and we're going to fill these are just Tupperware containers from the dollar store in the lid I put two holes so we're gonna fill this with some water and then stick the two milkweed stalks in here and then we will transfer the caterpillars onto the milkweed now I will check this daily or once or twice a day depending on how much milkweed I put in it to see if they need more so we're gonna do two of these containers with milkweed in it and then we will put these in the butterfly house so we'll take you along to show you so our milkweed is not very mature so it's very short right now so i'm going to be very selective about what i pick i'm going to stick more with no touch please the common milkweed because it has bigger leaves so it will be a more bang for my buck right now so this is a common milkweed and i have a couple other ones so I'm gonna cut, cut a few of the common milkweed and I might do one or two of the swamp milkweed just depending on how much I get. So, like I said, I am gonna cut it low so that I get the most that I can. Okay, uh, are we going to have to go into the milkweed or just cut? Okay, hold that like that. Oh, it has Don't to touch the white stuff, please. All right. Just a note, when you are cutting milkweed, you can get the white sap on your hands, but if you touch it in your eyes, it's going to itch and burn and irritate. So I suggest when you're done doing this, that you wash your hands immediately. Uh, Don't touch it. Oh, I do. Well, the is soft. It is soft. Well, the bottom is soft, not the top. Here, hold this one. Right, but I only have two hands. Yeah, but you're doing great. I know. Thank you for letting me help you. Well, I got up so I could help you. If I thought that that little guy was getting yeah. stuck. Whoop. <laughs> I got. Oh.
Now, you little guy, you're coming out into here. Got it? All right, so we filled, we got six stalks of milkweed. We put them in One, two, our three. butterfly house. We did find another caterpillar as we were collecting our milkweed. Three, four, five, so now I'm going six. to see how gracefully I can get these caterpillars into the enclosure. There are 51 caterpillars in here and the one that we found on the milkweed makes 52. So we'll see how gracefully I can do this. So my strategy for this was to just take the wet paper towel that was in the bottom of the tank and kind of pull it up and kind of make a blanket on top of all of these containers. And for the most part, it worked fine. I have two little guys, one that Henley has in the tank, and then this little one here that just doesn't want to cooperate. I might just leave him here for now. They do kind of have like a sixth sense and they will travel towards the milkweed. So, and I see actually a couple of other ones that are on the paper towel. So what I might do is just leave them for a while and see if they will migrate up on their own. And then if not in a couple hours, I will come back and check on them. It's kind of like me being a mother hen to them because they're my babies. So we'll see what happens. But hey, Mom. that one was really easy to get out. Mommy, are, are um, you gonna work some more outside? So I'm gonna see. work some more. Henley, I'm in the middle of something, please. So okay. there's that little guy in my hand. So I'm gonna put him on a leaf. See, maybe he can go right there. He'll go right there. And, and like I said, I think I'm going to, I'm gonna leave this leaf here just in case this one wants to climb on it or if there's any stragglers on the bottom. But I'm gonna leave that for now and we will check back in a couple hours and see. How they do. How they do, exactly. So here, I'm gonna take you guys off so that you can get a closer look. is not supposed to do that on the bottom. Is he, Mama? He's okay. A little glue piece. It's so soft. I just came out to check on the caterpillars. You can see that the ones that were on the paper towel have climbed up, so that is a good sign. I do have this little guy who is now on the paper towel, but that's okay, I think he'll be fine. He'll find some more milkweed. But milkweed did not really like, those are fine, but that one right there did not like being transplanted. It wasn't really transplanted, but moved, but I think come tomorrow it'll be perfectly fine and not many have gone up the milkweed stalks yet but you can definitely tell some of them have so we will check on them again tomorrow